There's a cinch knot, a square knot, but we're making garlic knots. But I didn't mention spicy roasted garlic knots with mozzarella and rosemary. Damn it. Too many things all happening at once. So good. Uh, let's get going and we'll begin with roasting some garlic because it's easy, but it's got to get in the oven. Of course, roasted garlic begins with a head of garlic. Here's what we do. We want to expose all of the cloves in here. So we take our knife and we cut down about uh, three quarters of an inch from where this stock part starts, like this. There you go. Beautiful. And because I'm a little anal and I like it to sit flat, we'll just cut a little piece off there. Perfect. Now we take this guy, take a double piece of foil, put him in, and it gets a little sprizzle of olive oil. And then we close the packet up tight all the way around, across the top, the other sides. And this guy's going to go into a 400 degree oven for about 45 minutes. And when it comes out, it will look like this. We undo and look what you've got. Garlic that is sweet, that is not bitter, that is so delicious, that goes so well with everything. And you give it a gentle squeeze and watch, it's still hot. The cloves just start to come up. Like this guy popped out all by himself. And when it cools down enough that you can touch it, watch this move. Just right into a bowl, these gorgeous cloves. Look at them. You just end up with the most amazing, squeezy garlic mash you've ever had. Tremendous. So this is going to be part of what's going to make these knots crazy good. All right, next, the dough. And it looks like this. Into the bowl of our stand mixer, we'll put two cups of flour, a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of dried rosemary into this. Crunch it up a bit. In it goes. Tablespoon of olive oil. Doop. One teaspoon of fast acting yeast. And two thirds of a cup of lukewarm water. And by lukewarm, I mean somewhere between about 110 and 20 degrees. Too hot will kill the yeast. Now we'll put in our dough hook. Lock it in place. And begin. And we're looking for this dough to become fairly smooth, elastic, and beautiful. Right now, this dough looks shaggy. See all the craggy edges and stuff? That's not what we want. We want smooth. So back we go. And after three, four minutes, it'll be pretty and ready to go. And we're there. Let's have a look. Nice, this is what you want. Too sticky, you would add some more flour. Too dry, well, I don't know how to help you there, so don't make it too dry. Beautiful. All right, let's get rid of the mixer. Let's flour our cutting board. So on goes our beautiful ball. A little more flour. And Max, flour up our What's this thing, a rolling pin? And we roll. And we're looking for a rectangular shape. I like these little bits of uh, rosemary that are in here. Makes me happy. So you want it fairly big because we're gonna double it over. So we're almost there. Okay, I can deal with this. Let me just put a little bit more flour here. Put this back down. One more roll. Okay. Now, do you remember the roasted garlic that looks like this? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a tiny splash of oil to help loosen it a bit and make it into a paste that's easier to spread. Like that. So the roasted garlic paste. Oh, sweet. 
Now we're gonna spread. Yeah. Just in this middle section. Pardon my cut finger, I did that this morning. It's a fresh wound. Beautiful. Only a couple things to add here. One is gonna be some roasted red pepper flake for just a tiny little bite. Like so. And the only other thing, some low moisture mozzarella, which means not the fresh kind because you don't want it to ping out all of its moisture when these oh things are God. baking. Well, I don't know how else to put it. Not that But wet. the other one is wet and you don't really want the wet here. And then we just take this over the top. I like to give it one more of these to just push everything in. We'll straighten up the sides a bit. These guys come off. This guy here, and then one more. Get it about as even as you can. And now we're ready to cut. and go into our parchment lined baking sheet. Right, so here's the plan. This is gorgeous uh, dough. We're gonna cut these about, what is that? About uh, three quarters of an inch? How big is that? Anybody know? Half inch? Are you talking about width? Width. I can't see. The three width. quarters of an inch? That's barely half an inch. It's definitely not three quarters. Okay, so I don't care what it is. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start to twist it, pull it a little bit longer while I go. And when it gets about there, which in this case is about 50% longer than what it started with, I'm gonna knot it. Simply around my finger, take a knot, and then put this face down on my parchment line baking sheet, just like that. And then repeat. So right now we can just start by cutting. I smell roasted garlic. I think I smell rosemary, probably not, but I know I'm gonna taste it. Beautiful. And now, just keep going. You take a piece, you start to twist, gets a little longer, you make a knot, put the kid face down, and keep going. Take a piece, twist, make it a little longer, make it a knot, put the kid face down. And just do your thing, rustic, nothing has to be perfect. Look, you could do this. I could stop right here and just lay this guy out by himself so it would become a bread stick. But we like knots, don't we? Oh yeah. Chance. Yes. Sticks or knots? What's your thing? I'm the knots guy. Hands You're also down. a politically correct guy. And I said, why this fly is really f***ing up in my grill. I don't want him. Called out, damn. <laughs> Shit, those are fighting words. Doesn't seem like they would be, but for him, those are fucking <laughs> fighting words, man. <laughs> He's basically saying you suck. I think that's what and I you're heard. You're terrible. Yeah. And the last one looks like this. And down he goes. She goes, she, he, what are they? And there you have it. They're cute, they're nice. They're about to become amazing. They're gonna go into a 375 oven until they just start to get a little color. Look, you could let them get golden brown if you want, but I'll be honest, I like them when they're extra soft inside. And then they were gonna get a little, the butter thing that we're gonna do. So 375, I come back, we do the butter and everybody's gonna be happy very soon. Alrighty, so the butter for brushing on top of these begins, interestingly enough, with butter. And we're gonna just break this up so it melts a little faster because our gorgeous, ridiculously flavorful knots are almost done. We're only giving it two more things. There's already garlic, don't need that. There's already rosemary, don't need that. But I like a little salt on top, so we'll add salt and pepper. Cool, huh? And some parsley, really finely chopped. And I'll tell you what, turn on the heat. 
take it off. I'm gonna go get the nuts. And here they are. Wow, aren't they purdy? Here's the thing, they're purdy, but look, they're still soft. I pulled them before they started getting too hard. This is a really good color, go for this. And if I told you my oven was at 375 and they were in for 20 minutes, once again, you gotta know your oven and pull them out. I'd go by color. Keep your eye on this. This is what you want. Yeah, Look, it's really loud, sorry. The gardeners are getting close because they can smell how good they are. Okay, let's baste them with the butter, salt, pepper, and the parsley. And now we baste. Oh, oh, there's something wrong. There's something so terribly wrong about what's happening here that I feel honestly a little bit guilty. I'm <laughs> not that guilty, but so we're just dabbing. We're not soaking, we're dabbing. <laughs> dabbing. Just dab. I know, I know your little joke about haha <laughs> dabbing. I know it has a double meaning for you millennials. It's a stupid dance you children do. And by the way, this is butter. B-U-T-T-E-R. This would not be the moment to bust out margarine or some substitute, you know what I'm saying? You want the real stuff here. Come on, dude, give me the good stuff, I'm hurting bad. Well, that would be butter. Look at how pretty, gosh, gosh darn it. One more and then I eat. Let's hit it, come on. Stop shooting, Max, I wanna eat these things. I do like to make sure there's a decent amount of the parsley on these. All right, let's go. So we've looked, we've basted, and now only thing left to do is eat. Little crunch on the outside, mm. soft. Beautifully lovely on the inside. Little mozzarella, tiny bit of heat from the, oh. And the rosemary. Little bit of rosemary dried goes a long way. And the roasted garlic in this is crazy. <laughs> what? Make these for your friends, your family, your loved ones. Oh, what the hell, just make them for you. They're so good. Thank you, uh, Theragun, for sponsoring today's garlic knots. Not these knots. Subscribe, like, and uh, hit the notification bell. See ya. Mm.